Well, hey there, welcome to Stone Valley. I'm Mighty Mike, and this is my flipped farm series. This is the first episode here in Stone Valley, down here at the livestock dealership, checking on the horses. So if you remember, when I left out of Elk Mountain, we had the two horses that we adopted. So we brought them down with us, but just didn't have anywhere to keep them right now. So we've brought them down here to the dealer and they are boarding them for us. So we're going to have to pay a little bit every month for them to take care of them as long as they are down there. But they are safe, getting uh, well fed, and should be uh, just a temporary location for them. So this is, uh, this is home here. Well, for a while. It's not really much to look at. But it is a roof over our heads. Dry. Has running water and power. So what else do you really need? Uh, so the deal is. We we had to kind of sort of buy. Slash rent this place. Uh, it was $131,000. That we had to put down. And we have to pay. $1,500 a month in rent. But. We get to use this field, which is right here behind the house. So this field come with the property. It's a large piece of property. And then once we are, are basically done renting here, we will get our $131,000 back. So uh, it was a really odd situation. I've never had a deal like that before. But I guess uh, they were just concerned about the uh, the field getting messed up. Possibly putting uh, chemicals out or you know digging holes or something that would destroy the future uh, profitability here of this this uh, field. So had to put down this this large deposit. We do have a couple basketball goals, but we can't use this barn. This barn has been condemned. Uh, they've got it boarded up can't get the doors it is unsafe to use so uh, all we have is the uh, yard here and that field that we can plant what we want so that was a large portion of our cash that we had to put down on this place so we ended up leaving Elk Mountain with five hundred and thirteen thousand dollars which was really good we were happy with that nice little pile of cash we had but it doesn't go far because our main farm that we're trying to uh, fix up over here uh, ended up costing us 246 almost 247 thousand dollars which doesn't sound like a lot until we get over here and see it uh, it's going to take a lot of work I have my work cut out for me uh, we are going to have to clear some trees out and uh, get this place back in operating condition now this farm is an old cow farm uh, well it's actually fairly modern there's some nice uh, buildings on the farm but it hasn't been used in a while and is in a little bit of disrepair there are some fencing issues that need to be addressed uh, but the biggest thing we're going to have to do is clear out a path to it and I have I gone too far I have gone too far still learning my way around here whoa I almost lost my door to that car there yeah I hadn't been over here but just a couple times so I'm still learning my way around Let's see. There's the road. It is very difficult to see. May have to put up a marker post or something here. And as you can see, this is the problem. Now what we're going to have to do is get out and walk from here. Uh, because there are bushes all down this driveway. So the cow farm is there across the way. You see the buildings. Uh, we even have some old tires laying about here. People have dumped trash. I'm going to have to clean up all of this 
out of the road before we can drive back down here. See, there's sticks and everything laying out here. So the cow build or the buildings down here at the cow farm are actually pretty, pretty new. They're in fairly good shape. Uh, certainly usable. Uh, but we can't get in and out this way. It looks like there's actually a road on the other side of that old barn out there. And it looks like the previous owner was using that road to get in and out of here. So, uh, you see there are pine trees all over the place. I guess the squirrels have been busy spreading the seeds about. Because you got the little pines growing up here all among the big pines. So that barn there is not part of the farm. That actually belongs to the property owner of that large field there. We'll make our way back here to the cow farm. So, we got a little drainage ditch there. Must uh, catch some overflow or something, but we have this uh, actually pretty nice cow st stall here. It's a cow barn. But the problem is, there's no fences. Uh, to really keep these cows in. Uh, we got another barn there. As you can see, they are pretty new. But there's, like right here, there's gaps in the fences. And if we walk back here, there's even, <laughs> there's no gate on the cow pen. So I'm not sure if, you know, maybe vandals at one time come through here and mess some things up. You see back here, this is the cow pasture. And, you know, some of the fence is missing here. So, yeah, I think what happened is either, you know, we had, had some folks in here stealing some fencing or just back here tearing it down for no reason. Or the previous owner was trying to change things up and uh, just didn't get finished. Now, you see there's a lot of bushes around whole lot of bushes we gotta get cut out of here another nice barn back here what is that back here oh, it looks like they left a couple bells of hay there I'm not sure how good those are and then the property actually comes all the way down here to uh, well the edge of this field here but again we got more pine trees a little bit more area back here behind the shed. What is that over here? Uh, it looks like they were cutting down some trees too and just left a few logs. So this is it. So I have a map here. Let me pull this out real quick. So this is a map of the area and we are right over here at the cow farm. So we do own the cow farm. But nothing around it. All of these fields, which are indicated as 5, 10, 3, and 4 by the local surveyors. I do not own any of those fields. The only thing I own is just the cow farm right here. And the uh, place we're going to be staying is way up here on the north side of the area. What the uh, surveyors have indicated as field 25. And uh, that is where we will be. Uh, living for now um, that that deal was kind of weird because I actually had intended on uh, maybe putting in like a double wide trailer out here uh, just temporarily uh, but once we got out here and started looking around uh, it just didn't seem like a very good idea and so that's why we started looking in uh, into renting a place so that was the available and it's you know fairly close here to the farm well to the cattle yard and so it was convenient and that's where we decided to stay for now and you see there is a road that leads out that way and there's a gate so i think the previous owner must have been coming in and out this way over here uh, we do have some bunker silos back there so you know the cow farm over here is it's in good shape uh, other than some fencing and this road we got our work cut out for us 
That is for sure. So what I need to do, I I have a hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars left over from everything. So I need to get some equipment. The first things first is we need to start working on these trees. Uh, there's not uh, anything we need to do with that field over there by the house because actually, as it turns out, uh, they had cotton planted in it uh, when we first moved in, but they've already come through there, uh, done some plowing. They actually put out lime and uh, it's ready to go. So that field is in good shape. It's been cultivated. Uh, there are some rocks in the field. As you can tell, there are rocks in a lot of these fields, uh, probably why it's called Stone Valley. Um, so probably going to be dealing with rocks uh, every time we cultivate. That is going to be aggravating, but it is what it is. We'll just have to deal with it. So let me hop back up in the truck here and we'll take a ride over to the dealership, local dealership, and see what they may have to help us get started out here. Uh, we do need to take out some of these bushes. We are going to need some way to haul some timber and some way to load it. Luckily, those pine trees back there are fairly straight, so they should be easy to handle, uh, easy to stack. So hopefully that goes well. Uh, we won't have the trouble we had over in Elk Mountain hauling those uh, logs like we did. And I'm not sure. I think this road here actually heads down to the shop. So let's take this. There's a lot of beautiful farms out here in this area. Uh, it's mostly flat, not a whole lot of hills. Uh, some of the area does have a little bit of rolling hill to it, but not much. It's, it's pretty flat. Uh, which would be nice so we won't have to uh, worry too much about having uh you know horsepower troubles or anything with our equipment all right let's see i think we take a left i am not sure yeah i think we take a left here And this will take us back down toward, uh, well, the majority of where the town area is here. Do have a big a grain silo complex there. And then, uh, yep, that's the dealership. They're directly in front of us. So this truck here did make it from Elk Mountain. Uh, it was quite a drive. I just made it. I uh, don't know how much longer it's going to make it. It's been running kind of rough. So, I don't know. Hopefully it'll last a little bit longer. Don't have a whole lot of extra cash to be spending on another truck right now. But we may end up having to do something. Hopefully this thing will last a little bit longer. So this is the uh, Cleaver Motors dealership down here. Uh, they are not affiliated really with anybody. I swung by earlier when we moved in and had a little chat with them. And they do have a lot of used equipment. You see they've got a few tractors out here that are used. As well as a few implements over here. They don't have a huge inventory. Definitely not like the dealership there in Elk Mountain. But... Uh, it seems like they've got a pretty good network of suppliers, so we shouldn't have any trouble getting what we need to uh, do what we need to do around here. So let me run in here and I give a little chat with them, see what they may have to help us out. Well, all right, we got a little rig set up here and we're almost back down here to the farm location. Uh, we ended up buying the uh, Kubota, the little Kubota. M6 that they had there on the lot. Got that for about $34,000. And uh, so we went ahead and got a uh, front loader. They had one in stock as well as this 
log grapple there and this logging trailer. So we have these implements here. We're able to uh, push through this brush here since we are now in the tractor. I think this little tractor has about 105 horsepower. So not too bad for our first tractor here on the farm. I don't really know where to start. I guess I need to start somewhere. We need to clear the road out first. So, let's turn off the tractor there. And let's see how these little trees are going to cut up here. Not a whole lot to these pine trees. Let's see if we can get that cut off there pretty close to the ground. Now that tractor is used, so we are going to need to do some repairs on it. Um, it it's running good, but it won't it won't be running at peak performance there until we get it fixed up. So we do need to spend a little money on getting it repaired at some point in the future. But it's uh, it's doing okay right now. I think it'll be okay for what we need to do with it right now. So I actually can pick up these that are not too heavy. These little trees here. Little scrappy trees all in the uh, all in the road. Now these little guys, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean there's just nothing here. I don't, I don't even think I can chop that down. We're going to have to come in with a mulcher and get those taken out. Uh, this one, can I even chop this one down? Yeah, it looks like we can. And get in here to it. <laughs> That's gone. Oh, it left a stump. There we go. those get chopped out of there pretty easy so it looks like we just have bushes there on the driveway let me see can I do anything with these oh wait can I get rid of these let's see here let's see if I can get the saw just right that's just right I like that there we go now we got a little rhythm here with the saw. There we go. So I do have these stumps I'm going to have to come through and I get taken out. Now these trees here are going to be much, much bigger. But uh, there's a lot of these smaller trees here in the driveway. We get those just clipped out of here really quickly. There we go. Got another one over here. Lift that out. Now this one's a little bit bigger here in the road. Let's see if we can chop this one down. Let's see. Let's yeah. Let's chop it this way. Get this delimbed here real quick. And I think I can pick this up. I don't think it's too heavy. Oh yeah. No problem. I've been working out. <laughs> What's going on back here? Oh, we still have a limb. There we go. Give a nice little nudge here. Oh, bonk my head. There we go. 
All right, let's go ahead and hop in the tractor and move it up a bit. So we're starting to make a little bit of headway here on the uh, on the road. I will need to get some kind of bush hog or something in here, mulcher, to chop these trees down. Uh, that will help out. Well, not the trees, but the uh, the bushes. But I think I could probably handle that when I get a uh, stump grinder or something maybe some kind of mulcher that'll do the uh, stump grinding and get these bushes cut out of here oh that saw is really really fast it cut that one in half. I didn't even know what happened. Sharp blade. I just bought this all. So it is cutting through it really, really well. Luckily, these uh, small trees here are light enough I can pick up. Now, once we get over to those heavier trees, we are definitely going to have to use the tractor. All right, we'll just leave that there. And let's see, we have another tree up here. Got that one out of there. Got another smaller tree up here. I think we can just clip this out. So this is actually going a lot easier than I anticipated. I didn't know how difficult it was gonna to be to clear out this driveway, but this is going well. Alright, let's pull the tractor up here so I don't have to carry it down there so far. And I missed a tree down here. Let's get this log loaded up here. So my intentions here in Stone Valley is we're going to try and set up a large cow farm. Uh, I had saw this advertised. I thought it'd be a good investment. I think we can improve some things here and I'll turn it for some profit. Now, one of the goals here is to actually build a house over here. So that is going to be uh, our ultimate goal is getting uh, some kind of house housing over here near the uh, cattle farm. I don't want it to be too close because I don't want to be smelling the cows every day from a back porch, but we are going to try to get it somewhere over here. Maybe out here, somewhere over here. Who knows? Uh, so that is the goal is to get a uh, house built over here. Once we get uh, on our feet and we can do that and then hopefully if all goes well make enough money Mike can buy one of these adjacent pieces of property to kind of expand our uh, farm and uh, hopefully make it a little bit more appealing to a future a future buyer We'll get one more cut here. And that is going to be about it, I think. In the... No, there's a few more down there. A few more we got to cut out. I'm going to be sore tomorrow, lifting all of these trees. But they are stacking in that trailer really nicely. And it's working out really well. We have two more trees here and this driveway will actually be cleared out enough that we can get in and out 
a little bit easier. Now, we do need to get the stumps out, of course. Uh, so that'll be something that we have to look into at some point in the very near future. And we got one more here. And then trying to get these trees off the cell. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, we can make a little bit of money back on the uh, trees, the timber. I don't think there's a big market for it over here in Stone Valley. Not like it has been uh, in other places I have been. But we still should be able to get rid of it and uh, turn a little bit of a profit, hopefully. Now, that's not a lot of timber here on this uh, property, but uh, it's some. And the nice thing about these pines, like I mentioned before, they're straight and easy to handle. And I left the limb on that one. Where is it? Let's get it. There we go. All right, so the driveway is uh, clear of trees. We do have some stumps we need to get rid of. And we do have some bushes, a whole lot of bushes. Uh, but we'll take those out once we get a grinder in here. So let's go ahead and see how this tractor does on one of these larger trees here. Uh, let's cut this one down here. Because we are wanting to uh, clear this out. All of this is going to have to go. So that we can uh, make room for other things. And I am not one to have a pine tree near my house. I definitely don't like pine trees uh, <laughs> beside the house. They are lightning rods. So if we're going to have a future home here on this uh, location or possibly on this location, I definitely don't want any trees, especially pine trees. get these limbs off of this tree here all right so what I'm gonna do is pull the tractor up beside this and see about measuring the length matter of fact let's get a strap on these logs in here so they don't go sliding around try not to drive over on the neighbor's property I have it I uh, had a chance to uh, meet them or talk to them so I definitely don't want to ruffle any feathers There's an old junker truck here on the property. We'll have to do something with that. Who knows, maybe we can fix it up and use it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the trailer. And then I think that we can get a eyeball measurement here on the... Uh, the trailer will measure about right there. Let's see. Maybe about here. And maybe about here. I think I'm going to have to cut it again. And this piece I should be able to just pick up the top of the tree. Yep. We'll get this thrown on the trailer. I'm going to have to get these bushes out here. I can't see what I'm doing. They are really in the way. Alright, back in the tractor now. We can uh, see about this grapple and uh, see how it works. So as I mentioned before I left Elk Mountain, I do want to try and hire a farmhand here in Stone Valley. I want to try and be a little bit more productive than I was able to be uh, previously. I think having somebody that I can work with that can run the equipment here on the farm uh, will be helpful. Uh, especially some of those tasks that I just don't have time to spend the time doing uh, instead of trying to contract it out we'll just have our farm hand take care of it for us 
So this little grapple actually works out pretty good. Now I am over here on the neighbor's property. I probably need to avoid that. Hey, I'm pleased that the uh, this particular farm has uh, ample storage. There's a lot of storage here, uh, plenty of shed space. Uh, and having things already set up is going to be really nice. We can just go at it uh, just as soon as we can. Uh, we will need to purchase some cows. Already talked to the folks down there at the stockyard about that. I'll let them know that I will be purchasing some cattle from them fairly soon. And so they are aware of that so that they can make sure they have what we need and I think I need to go ahead and get these two out of the way here they are really in the way I'm just glad I can get these smaller trees out with a chainsaw I thought I was going to have to get these out with a grinder so this is actually a welcome discovery there we go Let's see, can I pick up this last section here? I can. These pines are not that heavy. That is good news. The only drawback to that is I imagine I'm not going to make a whole lot from it, from the uh, cell. But that's okay. That bush in the way, I could not see the, the log very good and totally missed the uh, grab there. Alright, this one we're going to end up putting the heavy end on the back. It's not that big a difference. Alright, so we are starting to get a decent little load there. I think we could probably put another tree on there. So let me move the tractor out of the way. We're going to cut this tree right here behind us. And to get that loaded up. And then probably be ready to take our first load down and get it sold. Well, okay, we are headed over to the biomass heating plant. Uh, that is the only place around here that actually buys uh, timber like this. Uh, some other places will buy wood chips uh, if we were to get some wood chips, but uh, actually logs, uh, this is the only place there's not a local sawmill around here. Uh, well, at least not that I could find. So uh, you see, we do have uh, almost full trailer. I probably could have got a little bit more on there but it's fairly full so this will be uh, interesting to see uh, what we bring off of this timber because we do have quite a bit uh, still to go I do know that this tractor did have a little bit of trouble getting up the hill there on the driveway at the farm so I probably need to go on and take it back down to the dealership and let them uh, do a little tune up on it make sure it is running uh, well as good as it can so this is the uh, heating plant here well, let's go ahead and pull in here and uh, see about getting this wood sold well that's a little bit disappointing <laughs> oh, a little bit disappointing. Twenty-one hundred bucks, two thousand one hundred and eighty-three dollars. <laughs> oh, that's an awful lot of work for just a couple thousand dollars. But we got to do it to get cleaned up and uh, ready to uh, get this farm up and going. So it is what it is. We're going to have to just power through it and uh, get it done so anyhow let me take a right here i think we're going to head on down to the dealership 
I'll let them do a little tune up on the tractor. We'll have to spend a little bit of money, but that's okay. We're going to have a uh, pretty nice little tractor here. I'm actually pleased with it so far. It's uh, doing good with the uh, logging part. Interested to see how it uh, ends up working out for us when we get ready to do a little bit of field work. So that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to click the thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I thank you so much for watching. And I hope each of you have a blessed day. We'll see you soon.